We're all made to believe that if we study hard, find an ideal job and keep working for our employer's empire, we will get financial freedom in a plate in front of us. But that's far from reality because your life revolves around earn money, spend money, earn more money, spend more money and the circle continues, which deteriorates all of your golden years and you have nothing left. But what if we told you that you don't have to put your entire life away if you do it the correct way? In this video, we're uncovering the pathway to financial freedom through investing in the stock market. Welcome to Five Star Finance. Financial independence has become a subject of concern for many people, but by relying on the old and conventional methods, which are not the ideal methods to accumulate wealth, the process of achieving financial independence has become extremely complex and almost impossible. This video will act as a guide for everyone who wants to achieve financial independence the right way. So make sure you watch the video till the end to make the full use of it. The stock market achieves around about 7% annual return rate, but it doesn't always do that. But by looking at the history, we can see that the average is always somewhere close to 7%. That is why we're going to focus on this video. So let's say that you start investing in stocks with $10,000. You come back after a year and you get that 7% which historically the market will produce for you. Then by doing the math, you will get a straight up $10,700 of accumulation. As you notice that you only got profit worth $700, the $10,000 you invested in stocks turned into $10,700. But here comes the magic of compound interest which is going to benefit you in the long run. But let's just get a sneak peek into what the compound interest really is. So to put it all in simpler terms, the compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or a deposit. That means you're going to achieve gradual growth on your investments every time you make use of the compound interest. Getting back to our example, after investing $10,000 in the stock market, by making use of the 7% annual return rate, you made profit worth $700. And now your $10,000 has turned into $10,700. But wait for the real magic to begin. Now, if you earn 7% on this new sum, that means in the next year, all of a sudden you have earned $11,449. Now that's interesting because in the first year, you earned $700, but in the second year, you've compounded it to $749. Every year you let this compound happen, the better and better it gets for you. That is why people overestimate what they can do in one year but underestimate what they can do in 10 years. Now, of course, the market doesn't always give us a 7% return rate. Sometimes the market will give us more than 7% and sometimes it will give us less than 7%. But the point here is that 7% annually is the historic average rate of return. So you're always going to be somewhere around that 7% return rate. And that should be kept in mind before making any decisions in the stock market. So what do we want to do to achieve financial freedom through stocks is play that situation to our profit. We can take that 7% average rate of return as a benchmark figure and plan all of our investments around that and see where it gets us. Start at nothing, save up $10,000 each year and invest it across the general market. When you're adding $10,000 every year, then after 10 years, we can say that you will have a figure of $100,000 to support your investments. But through the compound effect, what you've got is a stock portfolio worth $138,164. Now that is extremely handy, right? To summarize, you invest more over time. The compounding takes place and you simply accumulate some serious wealth. Just using that 7% return rate, you have achieved those extra $38,164. And that is exactly some free money that has been generated for you through the compounding effect. Now the interesting thing to note is that you earned that money by using the market average. You did not have to depend on some investing analyst who thought that investing would be too risky for you to do it on your own. You did not have to say that you lost your money because you didn't learn more about the stock market investing because that's just using the stock market to your advantage and nothing else. Now if you're able to achieve more than 7%, let's say you achieve 10%, then you'll not just have those $38,164 free dollars, but now you'll have your free money up to $59,374, apart from your $100,000, which were invested in the first place. Now, if you somehow get to 15% annually, 
you will get that free money up to $203,037. And that's simply amazing. All you have to do is use the market to your advantage and get these amazing profits. Remember that you only had to put in 100 grand over that time. Obviously, we need to learn a lot more about investing in individual businesses to get those return rates up to 10 or 15%. But it does show that if you put in the time to learn about stock market investing, you can achieve a lot more than what you're currently making at your nine to five job. So if you have one of those goals to become financially free, just make sure that you put investing in your to-do list and get better over time. Make that a very high priority because with investing and the compounding, we do know that the longer the compounding time frame, then the better and better and better the deal gets. So make sure that you don't delay this process. If you're looking to get better with your money, everything starts with that crucial first step in your mind. If you don't want to live your old life where you had to think twice before making any decision regarding your money, start today with our channel. Make sure that you invest your time in learning about investing your way to financial freedom, because the earlier you start, the more amazing will be the compound interest working in your favor. But before you even think about investing in stocks, make sure you learn about the six stock categories that are each different to analyze. Don't worry, you won't have to depend on some investing pundits to learn them, because we have provided a free guide in the description below that explains these stock categories and which of these six categories can be the best for you to achieve financial independence and retire early with stocks. Check out the video we handpicked for you and we'll see you in the next one.